Class A has boys to girls in the ratio 2 is to 3. Class B has girls to boys in the ratio 5 is to 3. So if I write it as boys to girls, this just becomes 3 is to 5. Boys to girls, just to maintain some consistency. The number of students in class A is at least twice as many as the number of students in class B. A, B, at least 2 is to 1. What is the minimum percentage of boys when both classes are considered together? Right? To start with, let's start with finding the percentage of boys in class A, percentage of boys in class B. Class A has 2 by 5 boys, which is 40 percent. Class B has 3 by 8 boys, which is 37.5 percent. And very simple. So 40 percent boys in class A. 37.5% boys in class B. When mixing these two, so the percentage of boys has got to be between these two, these two percentages. Fine. Straight away we can see that this choice is out. But it can be any value between 40% and 37.5%. But we have been given one condition. Class A has at least twice as many number of students as class B. So this weightage is higher. I mean at least twice as much. So my final answer should be closer to 40% than 37.5%. That much again I know. Right? But it will not be 40% itself because then that means only class A is present. We know it is twice as many as class B, but we can have class B also, in which case it will reduce the number. Right? It, the answer is closer to 40%. It need not be 40%. I can go less than 40%. This is out. This is out. This is the answer. We're done with that. But I'm still going to solve it. The, if I want the number to be as low as possible, it should be as close, B should have as high weightage as possible. It is at least 2 is to 1 or if I put it as 2 is to 1 and not any higher than that, I'll get the minimum possible percentage. So 40% into 2 plus 37.5 into 1 by 3. Closer to 40%, sure, but as low as possible. So let's not have 2.5 to 1 or 3 to 1 or 10 to 1 or 100 to 1. The higher the, the weightage of A is, the closer we'll get to 40%. So I don't want that. I want it to be as low as possible. So I need to have as high a weightage for B as possible, which is only one third. It cannot be more than that because there are at least twice as many students. So 40% into 2 plus 37.5 into 1 by 3. This will happen to be 39.17%. I don't have to really do this because I've inferred that. From the answer choices, I can I can I can have a shot at it and say it is 39.17. The textbook method is going to give you the answer exactly at 39.17 percent. Good question, especially for the idea of thinking fraction to percentage. One, two, thinking in terms of going from answer choices and going to the answer really quickly.